And we're joined now by the deputy mayor of Paris, Patrick Klugman. Mr. Klugman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. First of all, our condolences for the victims of that horrific attack. I know the French president has said that Paris has been struck in the heart by this, and you've just observed a moment of silence. Tell us the mood in Paris this morning. Uh, well, the moment is terrible uh, in Paris. We, as you said, we just uh, made a moment of silence, but it's also a time for action. No idea where the suspects may be. There have been some reports, unconfirmed, that they were seen driving in the north. Yeah, th th there have been some uh, leaks about uh, they have been, they've been identified in the north of France, but I cannot confirm at this stage. And there's also been a shooting in the Paris suburbs this morning of a police officer and another uh, witness there. Any idea yet whether that is connected? To what happened yesterday? The suspect uh, is still, I think, on the loose, but at this stage it's far too early to speak about any connection in relation with what happened yesterday at Charlie Hebdo. And are the police learning anything useful from the suspect who did turn himself in, and are they confident that that individual actually was part of this operation? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't have much information to comment on, on that, but. Uh, what I would like to, to say is here in Paris, we keep on fighting. Time for mourning, time for commemoration, and time for action. And time also to preserve freedom of speech, freedom of thinking, the values of French Republic that uh, you also share uh, in the United States. Those are values we do indeed share. Mr. Mayor, thanks very much for your time this morning.